How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now, a while back, NTXT sent me a bunch of their products to take a look at their awesome U2 ecosystem, which is their RGB. And if you guys know me, I love my RGB. You can, you can already see just behind me, the PC, everything. It looks so cool and I'm definitely looking forward to trying these out. Now you guys can already see that the system is built with all of the NZXT products. So if you want to see that build stream, I did do a live stream chatting with you guys, just enjoying ourselves. So if you guys want to see that build, then I'll just link it down below. But now jumping into the products that NZXT sent over. Firstly, for the fans, we have their Air 2 RGB fans, which I already have installed here. So you guys can see how awesome they look. So they are static pressure fans with speeds from 500 to 1500 RPM. You do get eight RGB LEDs around the side of the fan and it just looks awesome. Beautiful. I'm gonna go over all of the facts and everything that you get as well, so stay tuned for that. Next up, we have their U2 RGB lighting kit. So this is their control unit, kind of. You do get your RGB LED strips included here as well, but mostly this is the unit that everything connects to, so you can control all of your lighting. So this is probably the main unit that you want. Next up, we do have their U2 underglow accessory, which you guys can see over there, it looks so cool. It just kind of gives your system a new look. Usually you get all of the RGB and everything in your case, but now you can get it underneath your, your case as well. And honestly, you guys can see it looks freaking awesome. So for the underglow accessory, you do get two RGB strips that you just place underneath your case. You do get some uh, double-sided tape as well stick them to it and then your set especially with the h700 case that i have here there are some openings underneath the case we can just root off the cables through connect it to the lighting kit accessory uh, and then yeah you're pretty much set to go and then next up we have their u2 cable comb accessory and unfortunately i couldn't install this one because i don't have any custom sleeved cables so that is a, definitely a bummer, but how it works is that you connect these just to your sleeved cables, both your 24 pin for the motherboard and then your PCI Express uh, cables are for your graphics card and it lights up. It looks so cool from all of the images that I've seen, the videos and so on. So I might just need to go buy sleeve cables just to use these with them. And they work exactly like the others, just connect them to the controller unit and then you are set. Definitely a must have if you do have sleeve cables because they do look awesome. Then next up, we have probably the coolest CPU AIO on the market and that is NZXT's Kraken range. So the one I have here is the X62, which is their dual RAD, but they do also get the M22, the X42, the X52, this one, and then the X72, just different size, but all of them have this awesome looking RGB CPU block with the NZXT logo in the middle and then the RGB around the side. You kind of get this infinity display, which I don't think anybody will say that this doesn't look awesome. So definitely, definitely a must have if you want your system to look just great. But not only does the Krakens look awesome, they perform great as well. There's a bunch of reviews out there and all of them show how great the Kraken CPU, CPU AOs perform. Then for the final product NZXT sent me is of course the H700 case. And there's not too much to tell because you guys can see how awesome it looks. Got it in white, you do get this a white bar in the middle that just adds something different to the case. Usually if it's just black, it looks boring, but with this white strip, it does give a lot more to the case. There, the case is easy to build inside. There's a ton of space. Uh, and at the bottom, you do get your, your PSU shroud. There's a ton of mounts for your 2.5 inch SSDs. At the back, you do get more space. There's a ton of reviews out them. You can see how awesome they look and how awesome they perform as well. But now this is all of the products that NZXT is sent uh, me. However, there is still one more that kind of goes along with the RGB lighting uh, kit, and that is their RGB ambient kit. How that works is it still uses a control unit kind of like this, but instead of you putting it inside your case, 
you put it outside. So either behind your monitors or you can put it behind your desk. I did that previously with the addressable RGB LEDs behind my desk. It just gives a totally different feeling to your setup instead of having just a single color behind your desk. So having that, it looks so cool. Just adds an entire different ambient feeling towards your system. So definitely a must have if you want to all out RGB your setup. But now after going over all of their products that they sent over, let's now take a look at their cam software, which allows you to control all of your RGB lighting for the U2 ecosystem, but also a lot more. So with the software, you can see your, all of your hardware information, both your CPU, your GPU, your RAM, your storage. For the CPU, you can see I have the 1800X, the temperature only 28 degrees, just shows how good the Kraken performs. You can see your load, your clock speed, your fan speed. You can see it either in this ref counter format, or you can see it in a line format as well, that just shows a bit more information. Same goes for your GPU. You can see it either in this or in the line format for more RAM. You can see your storage, how much you've used, how much you have free. You can also increase the size to full screen and then you get a bunch more information. So if you do have a second screen and you want to see all of your voltages, your temperatures for everything, then this is definitely. Then moving on to the system information. Again, you can see pretty much everything. My motherboard, your storage, your RAM, more, more information guys want to see what's going on there then we also have a game so you can actually configure an overlay for your game so you can see your fps your average fps your cpu uh, temperatures your gpu your memory version time vram there's a ton of them you can move them around on the display uh, let's you can move it to the bottom the right the left bottom whatever you can do that and also change the uh, colors so you can make it red if you wanted to. So I'll show you guys how that look in game as well. Next up, we have the overclocking utility. So yes, you can overclock directly inside the cam software. Uh, so you can overclock your GPU. Here I have my limiter that I can power, uh, limiter that I can apply, my overclock, my G memory overclock as well. I'm not exactly sure how much my uh, GTX 980 can overclock at the moment, so I'm not gonna fiddle too much around, but it's so simple and it's in one software. So you do have that. You can also see your clock speed, your GPU temperature, memory clock, voltages, and so on here. You do have profiles, fixed, standard, and custom if you want to change something there. Then next up, we have the cooling tab where you can control all of your cooling, your fans, your pump, and so on. You can either create show more information about them your fan speed your fan rpm there are so you can also change the fan curve if you want to you can either have it as your different profiles fixed silent performance or you can create your own one and adjust everything so you want they do have a lot of power there both goes for the pump as well and then finally, let's get into the U2 ecosystem where you can control all of the RGB for your system. So firstly, you guys can see I have a bunch of components here. I have the Kraken, the ring, that's the ring around. We do have our lighting to kits, which is the RGB strips. Uh, then we have the channel 2 is the fans and then finally we have the underglow here at the, the bottom. So you can either select all of them and then you have all of your controls here. Now you do lose some of them, you can see those ones are grayed out but you do have like your spectrum wave which I currently have applied which honestly it looks the best to me. You have a fix where you can have only a single color, boom boom boom, switches everything. You have fade which is going to fade in and out of the color you selected you can either change the speeds as well so let's put it at fastest and it's just going to be almost like a pulse but you do also have pulse effect so fading we have that the marquee effect which is just going to go in and out of the different colors you guys can see that also looks really cool you can change the speeds again as well you can change it forward backwards and then you can change the colors for what you want Next we have a pulse, which is again just going to pulse in and out of the color you selected. And then finally that spectrum wave again. But now if you see at the bottom, I definitely did this on a purpose. I didn't mess it up when I did the live stream build. 
but the underglow is going the wrong way. So where all of the others are going the left side around, this one is going the opposite way. So if you wanted to, let's say, fix that, you can with just deselecting everything else and only selecting the one and then change it to backwards. So let's see, now everything is going to the left. Uh, let's see what else we can do. So we can either change the ring, just the ring as well. Let's put in a Tai Chi. So we do have a Chai Chi effect, which looks pretty cool as well. We can change then the logo to the spectrum, let's say a, a breathing effect there, faucets as well. And it's just going to breathe in and out really, really quickly. Next, we have the chan, the RGB strips. So you do have a lot more effects. Now you can see those ones are opening up. Let's take wings, faucets again. And that looks quite crazy. So it's just like, I don't even know what, it's, what to call it. Starry Night, we have that. So that's just going to flicker in and out. Uh, let's just put it a bit faster. So there it goes. You have a rainbow flow, which it's kind of like a lot of these are like the spectrum cycle, but just a few different things. So you can see those ones as well. You can change the speed, the direction, and so on. Super rainbow. You have super rainbow, which is just a, a longer color per strip instead of having only like a few LEDs light up. Then rainbow pulse, which is again going to rainbow pulse like that. Candle. We have candle then as well, which is just going to look like a candle. A lot of the names are self explanatory. So we have those. Let's move on to the fans. So for the fans, we also have most of these. Let's go with a wings for them. Put them at faster. So they're also going to go like that. Maybe we can get something with a different feel to it. So rainbow flow. Also just going around. Um, alternating. So alternative is giving you kind of that two color effect where it just switches steadily between them. We can also pass it up if we want to. Kind of like, like a clock almost. However, those aren't the only effects you get. So those are the presets. Now you do also get your smart effects, which is linked to the, system, to the GPU temperatures or the CPU temperature. Uh, you do also have the ambient here. Now, unfortunately, again, don't have the ambient kit, so you can get that. And then FPS. So depending on your FPS for your game, for your system, it'll light up to that FPS amount. Next up, we have custom. So you can control each LED individually. So let's say for the ring you want, let's deselect some of them. So just for the ring itself, you can go and select different colors for that one. Let's go purple for that. Let's go white for that. And then green for that. So you can actually apply those and it's going to add different colors. Same goes up for the RGB strips. You can pretty much each LED individually select and add a different color to them. It's, it might take a while, but you do have a bunch of them that you can apply. So down here, you guys can see, and even the next ones, let's see, the top one, add different colors there as well. And that's only the fixed, but that's not the only fix you get. You do also get breathing that you can apply, and also a wave as well, which is going to follow like that. It looks freaking crazy. Uh, so that that is for the light strip, then custom for the... RGB fans as well, pretty much works as the others. Then next up, you do also have audio. So currently I don't have any music playing, so it isn't working. But if I play something like Alan Walk, you guys can see the levels, I can increase it as well. And then it goes crazy. I can nothing full, nothing full. And I'll also show you can select the different colors for each level of the audio. So you do have that. And then finally you have a game. So in game, depending on what game you're playing, it'll actually show like your health. Green is going to be like full 100%. And then red is going to be one to 19%. You can change the colors of course as well. 
have a grenade effect, if your flash is going to light up white, uh, if you're burning with the incendiary grenade, it's going to be like an orange. And all of this looks so good with your ambient RGB behind your screens or behind your desk as well. Unfortunately, you don't have that, but it does look really awesome. Right, so jumping into a game of CSGO, let's quickly try out the flash grenade and see how that looks. See you guys, it just lights up white. Let's see if we can take some damage. Okay, I'm in. Almost dead. There we go. So you guys can see my health was first green and now it went down to red because I'm dead. So let's quickly buy an incendiary grenade and see how that looks. All right, so buying a few grenades, let's quickly try out the Molotov and see how that looks. Running through that, guys, it's, I'm burning and I'm not dead. All right, so next let's try the smoke grenade, see if that does anything. Smoke grenade as well, just makes everything white. And then finally, let's end it all with a little grenade. I'm coming. Oh, I thought the grenade does damage. Nope, the butt got me. But yeah, that's pretty much the ambient lighting in a game and how that looks. So then that is pretty much it for the NZXT U2 ecosystem. Again, you guys can go download the CAM software. It doesn't only work on NZXT systems. You can use it for whatever you want, even if you have a different components and you just won't be able to use the U stuff. But you'll still be able to overclock and so on, get your system information, which is truly awesome. And again, it's free. So definitely go check that out. But if you do want to let your system look this awesome then definitely go check out the youtube ecosystem i'll leave all of the products linked below even the ones that i don't have so definitely definitely go check them out and a massive thank you to nzxt for sending these over because now my system looks awesome so yeah uh, but anyway thanks for watching guys again if you like this video please like share subscribe and comment like always check out all of the nzxt stuff linked a bit below so thanks for watching guys hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and i'll check you guys next time cheers guys